So, uh, you wanted this, so I'm making it. Why is bro so ecstatic about it? Gojo, who the fuck invited you? Why the fuck is that your wallpaper? Okay, now that Gojo's gone, you're gonna want to open CapCut or whatever. Alright? Once it loads, you're gonna want to hit new project. We need photos, though, so open your browser. Ugh. What the hell happened? What the hell is that? Okay, I'ma just look up Gojo for convenience. Nah, it's cause I'm better. Gojo. Get the fuck out! Can't kick me out of my own fucking dorm room. Fucking bitch ass. Alright, let's get our picture. Alright. Once you have your picture, you need to go to Adobe Background Remover and insert your photo. <laughs> now you wanna... Hit download! Yeah, hit download. All right, now you want to go to either the Reiner's Voice Lab server or the Attack on AI server. Once you're in either server type slash speak, put in your character. I'm using myself because Gojo sucks ass. Then what you want them to say. Gojo, you are a dumbass. All right, that's good. Once all your files are uploaded, add your background. Then add the image you want to use. Shrink it to the wanted size. And those are basically the core elements of making AI videos. Gojo, you are a dumbass. If you want them to move, and smoothly move, however, it takes more time. You are a dumb Go halfway to where you want them to move and add a keyframe on position. Then go a decent amount of frames back and add another keyframe. Move the image on the first keyframe you added, then cut on the keyframe. Add your second image, shrink it to the size you want, and put them where the last image ended up. I'm back and I'm taking over. Right. So now you want to add a keyframe at the start of the image, and another a decent amount further. Right-click on the image and select See Keyframe Animation. Right-click on one of the keyframes in the Transform tab and click Graphs. For the right image, do an Ease Out Graph. For the left image, do an ease in. If you dance all day. Gojo, you are a dumbass. And there you go. But if you want to zoom in like this, it's a wee bit more complicated. Take this clip, for example. I have both a scale and position keyframe on me and the background, so we both grow and move at the same time. Creating a zooming effect. Then we just have a position keyframe on the second image and background to follow the image and have the same smooth movement between images shown before. Bro, that video took so long to make. Don't you think you broke the fourth wall enough already? Nah, uh. Stop that shit's fucking copyrighted! <laughs>